Have you ever wondered what games you should keep or you should lose? Find out here at Purdue. Who would I recommend this game for? This game will actually be for people of all ages. I used it with gamers, you know, as a filler, waiting for more people to show up. Because you can just kind of just play it, and then who cares who wins too, or you can keep score, whatever you want to do. Uh, kids love this game. They love, love, love trying to use those chopsticks. I love playing it with just my wife. It's a two-player party game in a box. We're always laughing. This game is very, very flexible. I've said it before, you can add more players by adding more chopsticks. The rules don't allow for it, but there's no reason why you can't. You're just laughing and having a good time. Your only condition is, you know, you need more chopsticks that you can easily get when you're eating out at a Chinese restaurant or the space around the bowl. So you could have like 16 people playing this. But I think four or five would be, five would be able to be a stretch. Just, just everybody being crowded in there. But there's no reason why you can't play four. So keeper for us. I actually really, really like this game. It's not something I really would have picked out for myself, but I am glad that's in my collection now. box for chopstick dexterity mega challenge 3000 you can just tell from the box it's going to be a crazy thing that's going to be going on it's going to be a little bit longer of a box than probably what you're used to due to the components that are inside so we'll open this up you'll see a rule book we'll go over that in just a couple minutes you're going to see a scoring chart that will be here you have a bunch of these little noodles these are really 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 nice wooden bits you're going to have some tokens that you'll be using and these bowls, oh my gosh, you almost eat cereal out of these bowls, although I don't know if it's safe or not. But these bowls are fantastic. You're going to get some chopsticks that you'll be using in this game. And you're probably thinking, what kind of wacky game is this? Let's take a look and we'll find out. Here's the rule book. It's going to give you a little storyline on the front, which you'll be able to utilize and kind of get into the game. It's going to give you a picture of the components, which are fantastic. And set up. Now, this game's going to have preliminary games that you can use, a championship game with two contestants and a championship with three. So there's a few different ways to kind of play this. You're going to have the final challenge round on the back and then recommended rules of engagement. This game is really simple to play. It's not going to be difficult at all. And the rulebook can be read, you know, in five minutes you'll be playing the game with no problem. The first thing I want to do is show us how some of these tokens are going to work when you're playing. And this will be through all versions of the game. When a wild card a disc is revealed, you try to take as many shapes from the bowl and place them in your dish. This is a wild card, so you will take as many purples as you can. When an any number, which is this one, is played, the first contestant who placed that many number of shapes, or shapes, the color doesn't matter, and the dish wins the disc. So there are four any numbers, and you can get the fours. If it says all, dozens must race to take as many of the shapes from the bowl as they can before all of the shapes are gone. So here is the most shapes will win. So the numbers, the all, and the wild card. And you can see this. This is going to show you just one of the shapes, and you'll be looking for that shape when you play. There are plenty of different ones. Here's a blue one. Here's a yellow one, etc. To start the game is very easy. Each person will take a small bowl. All of the tokens are put in the big bowl to look like cereal, and everybody grabs a pair of chopsticks, and you're ready to play the game. So what players will do in the preliminary game is they reveal one of these tokens, in this case the red triangle. And players will then compete to get as many of the same shape or color as possible. And you will use your chopsticks to do so. Now, I'm not very good at this game at all, but I could go for the red cylinder. And you guys are all probably laughing at me right now. The cylinder is the hardest one, so I'm not going to go for it. And I don't know how to eat with chopsticks. So this is terrible, terrible, terrible. Uh, okay, so... Uh, you can see I would win. Now, in a normal game, everybody would be fighting over this, and that would be a point for me. So, when all the same color and shapes are gone, whoever has the most wins this token. In a three-player game, whoever gets 10 first wins. In a two-player game, whoever gets 15. In the championship game, what you'll do is you'll turn over. In this case, we call this shape the toast. So, what you would do is everybody would compete to get as many toast in their bowl as possible. And that would not count. Let's see if I get this red one in. The color doesn't matter. You're looking for just a shape. There you go. I did that one fairly easily, so good for me. The championship game is going to work exactly the same way with three players as it does with two. You're going to reveal this. You're going to compete for it. But if you win this and you get it, then you sit out the next round. That's how it's going to work. So what you're going to do in the final challenge round is you're going to have the bowl set up like normal. But you're going to have each of the wild cards across the top. Now, these have different colors and then the, the ones with the shapes down here. So, if you wanted the red t uh, triangle, you would put it right here. And if you wanted uh, blue shrimp, it would go right here. So, what you're trying to do is take these things out of the bowl 
I'm gonna do it like this just for camera purposes. And then you would quickly place it down here. Now this version goes for one to three players. You're trying to fill up the board before the timer runs out. So this part right here can be done with one, two, or three players, and you would just cooperatively do it, or you can do it as a challenge against each other. Now the fun in this game is going to be obviously that there's more than one chopstick going, and you're trying to get something up, and you're about to do it, and somebody gets in your way and tries to pop it out. Now you're hardly if ever going for the same piece necessarily, but you can just kind of lodge out of somebody's hands. There's this quick dexterity side of this game. And so it's not just this boring, oh, I'm just taking a piece and trying to do this slowly. It's the rush of two people trying to do this. Everybody has their little chopsticks in the bowl, if you will. Who should buy this game? Strictly for people with young children, either a parent or grandparent or a teacher. If you're a teacher, this is one, especially young kids learning about money and the values of that money. This is one you actually want to get pretty good. You can even play this in the classroom and bring a whole bunch of kids in on teams and have them learning this. Or if somebody gets done with their homework, you know, you let them play this game. And there's a learning opportunity there also. This is going to fall a lot more on a learning opportunity than it will be like this is a fun game. But for people who only play like Uno and things of that nature, they're going to find a lot of fun in this box. So I don't want to overstep that. The kids like it. They quickly find out that they're learning and they'll be turned off. Your mileage may vary with your kids. But for us, we're going to keep this just for the school aspect and not so much the game. Thanks for watching the video. I really appreciate you tuning in. If you liked it, please like it and hit that little subscribe button. That really helps out the channel. lets us know that you're getting the videos that you want. If you agreed or disagree with what I said, feel free to comment below. I'd love to hear what you have to say. And I promise that I will comment back. Thanks for watching. And everybody else, keep playing games.